you, Stephen. Last we're here, right now we're going to hear from Tom, Alex's father. This has been particularly hard on Tom and on me as his mother, but um, Tom wanted to share a few words about Alex. Good to be vertical. After not walking for about four months. I'm not one to uh, read, but that's the way I have to be able to do this to get through it. And uh, my wife will take over if I nudge her. What can I say? My sons, my only sons, funeral for everybody to hear. What would he say? And what would he want me to say on his behalf? Here are my thoughts. I'm Alex's father, but we both share the same heavenly father. And all artists live on through their art. Alex left a lot of art behind. He was inspired by God and others. And as others take a look, and stop to consider what Alex created, drawing, music, writing. I truly believe God can and will inspire us. Alex left his mark here on, uh, in this world that we all know. He reminded me that Jesus told us to live in this world, but not of it. By faith in the great above and beyond, heaven as our eternal home, we just work down here but we live there. Alex and I both hope that Alex's art will live, leave an eternal effect on those who look at it, all the art that he's left behind. Uh, his life's work, what God was doing in him and through him, most of it, but not all of it, that art can be seen anywhere in the world now by accessing Dad, It's called the World Wide Internet. Mainly on his blog, Pressing Words, which was subtitled, The Spilling of a Lost and Found Mind. And that's in the program. He was truly inspired by our Heavenly Father, and God will speak to you and inspire you through what Alex leaves behind. And finally, with the arrival of Jesus, the Messiah, that fateful dilemma is resolved. Those who enter into Christ's being here for us no longer live or have to live under a continuous low-lying black cloud. A new power is in operation. The Spirit of life in Christ, like a strong wind, has magnific magnificently cleared the air, freeing you from a fateful lifetime of brutal tyranny, tyranny at the hands of sin and death. The message translation puts it this way. God went for the jugular when he sent his own son. He didn't deal with the problem as something remote and unimportant. And in his son, Jesus, he personally took on the human condition, entered this disordered mess of struggle of humanity in order to set it right once and for all. That's from the book of Romans, uh, chapter 8, the Apostle Paul inspired by God. And may God add a deeper, richer blessing to you like you've never experienced before. Everybody has a different relationship with their earthly father. Everybody can have a different relationship with their heavenly father. May you, may we bless God in all that we do, all my love, my care, 
and my prayers. Alex's dad. <laughs>